We can wish for the days of the past, or we can accept that none of these conditions, both the good and the bad, are permanent. We have received blessings and grace that we didn't have to work for and could never have earned. But that comes with letting go of what we thought we could achieve on our own. And if we're being truly honest, just like the people of Israel doing their best work in a state of bondage, we weren't even getting to keep what we are working so hard for in the first place. So the next time life gives you pretzels with no water, in the Israelites case manna with no meat, don't make the mistake of grumbling, complaining, or venting. This is the moment to thank the Lord for what he has done, what he's continuing to do, and to pray to him for what he will do. It's hard, I, I know it is. I'm tempted to complain about every minor inconvenience, oh. as well <laughs> as the devastating setbacks that we have. Now, should we reach out to the Lord in our pain? Absolutely. Can we talk to him about every problem, no matter how large or small? Of course we can. We should bring every one of our requests to the Lord, but we must do it with a grateful heart. The wait for our Xbox Series X just gotten a little bit longer. The opportunity for that Halo Infinite Edition, well, maybe it has disappeared. But today I'm just thankful because his daily bread for me has never run out, even when it comes in the shape of a press. <laughs>